going? What are you guys yeah. doing? Oh. I have a thing that says the oh, stream. We is were, like, oh, we were. I guess we were live. Like it kicked us out, and then it rolled. Okay. <laughs> I went and started streaming at Rush Freeman on here and got a hit promo on him. And you just, yeah. he, he spoke right. to the fans. Yeah, oh, we not yeah, we to we are. Nobody. All right. Sorry. Sorry. That's my bad. I didn't. We've been okay. talking to We're, live. People. We're doing it live. All right. Back to my pitch, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. I get married this Saturday. I have a little writer's block when it comes to my vows. So in the chat, if you could give me some sort of inspiration in the chat, maybe a nice romantic quote. A Taylor Swift lyric, something in there that kind of get the juices flowing because I'm I'm struggling. It's hard. I know it's it's the most important promo you cut in your whole life, right? So like I just need a little bit of help. So if you could just help me in the chat, in the comments, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Meta, X, whatever, just put some nice things in there. Like here's a nice thing you could put in your vows that might be good, you know, for Shelby. Go get the Goo Goo Dolls fifth record. Google, oh, see, there we go. Good, yeah. good notes. Good notes. The, the fifth record is when I think they did the 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 movie that anybody who had a girlfriend '98 had to go to the City of Angels or whatever. So yeah. I think that's when they wrote that song. That's so kind deals of, with a good, good, good insight there. Anybody but Rush Freeman can help me yeah. with this. Cal cut a great song on Rush me. too. In in, in oh in, man, I was fired up. And, man, you were fired up. We 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 were talking for. If I didn't look oh. on this on my phone. <laughs> I, I had been 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 talking in the dark for hours. I, I literally was like, make sure because you're texting me and trying to piss me off. Make sure you give us your address so every fan can show up and beat the Whoa, living out of them Hannah, and all this Eric, other stuff. You are uninvited from everything. Who's that? Uninvited, Eric Dale. So wow. No. Put up what Eric wrote. Put up what Eric wrote, put up what Eric wrote Gary. That's upsetting. What did he say? Taylor Swift is everything that is wrong in this world, Joe Gow. I personally want to kick your ass, Eric. I have Taylor Swift records next to my record player right out there because I'm just a fan of her modern stuff. Pop, pop Taylor Swift and like folk Taylor Swift, fantastic country. No. Hey, Jill. Hello from Convert. You know where that is. A lot of big news. I mean, a lot of things happening, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, we're seeing it here in the chat right there. Big announcement on Sarah. The territory system is back in the National Wrestling Alliance. Joe and I have been getting our emails blown up. I'm getting text messages. Anybody, uh, with, a, anybody with a wrestling ring on planet Earth wants to be in the territory. Uh, it, it has been coming in high uh, with with a lot of uh, requests. Between asking for a web developer and the territories, I'm getting a bunch of random phone calls and stuff like that where I'm like, this is fantastic. Yeah, um, right. it is. Trying to be there's romantic. plenty to talk about. It feels like everything is just chaotic right now uh, in the world of uh, the NWA. So that's why the show uh, got off to a weird start. Uh, but we appreciate all of your patience. We were talking for ten minutes. We weren't even on the air. Thank you. I know. So there's that. I, I've been a failure this week. I've, no, I've no, cut no, one of the best don't. he's ever cut, and it just went. Only it's we've fine. heard. That's it's all right. right. But we all felt it, and we all know exactly how we felt when we heard it, and it, we felt like, yes, yeah, yeah, that's it was true. Austin three cosmic Joe, level, thank you. Those but you guys questions. will never know, so uh, that's the only bad part, you know. If you could have only heard Kyle cut his uh, Kyle three sixteen, I didn't even notice yeah. that you were wearing the Owen three sixteen shirt when I said that. I swear to yeah, God. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> he did. He cut the goddamn kid. Yeah, goddamn. <laughs> it's great. All right. We keep talking about uh, this news, Gary. Give us some. Okay. Well, I mean, the big news right now that we see people uh, talking about in the uh, chat that we should cover is yes, it is true. Uh, NWA Exodus Pro this weekend was added to the National Wrestling Alliance as the first of inaugural. The, uh, yeah, the inaugural of what should be many territories in the National Wrestling Alliance. The territory system is back. And uh, what does that mean? Well, hey, uh, isn't it interesting in this graphic? I don't know if we meant to do it, but there's a nice little Waterloo right there. It's a oh, nice yeah, little thing, a little yeah. Easter egg for you folks. You see Waterloo right next to Billy Corgan's brain. Yeah, mm. where it all started. I that I like to think that our uh, graphics guy, Bod, uh, planned on that. Uh, I like to think that that's exactly what he probably was not, but there you go. It's there either way. <laughs> Uh, for those of you who uh, weren't available to see the actual uh, announcement, it did happen this weekend. Uh, here's uh, Billy Corgan talking a little bit about it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure and honor to tell you that going forward, 
This company will be called NWA Exodus Pro. So what does that mean in real terms? The NWA Exodus Pro brand from Cleveland, Ohio will now represent NWA champions coming to town. And very soon, the NWA Exodus Pro Heavyweight Championship will be recognized as a title by the National Wrestling Alliance. Considering the plethora of talent we have in the back and the talent around this world that will be interested in that, starting in December 1st, our next show, we're going to begin a 12-man tournament to crown that champion. So, that's pretty cool. So, what you're building here is at the heart of what the NWA future looks like. So if you have a dream, like these young men and women in the back, Cleveland will be one of those places where you can begin your dream and Exodus Pro will become part of the NWA family going forward. All right, so there you heard it. Uh, big news from the president of the National Wrestling Alliance, William Patrick Corgan, Exodus Pro, NWA territory. Guys, how do you feel about the territory system coming back? I mean, Exodus Pro right now, you heard it himself, coming up on December 1st, the next time they're going to be having a show there to crown a world champion, their Exodus Pro champion that'll be in the National Wrestling Alliance. What does it mean for everybody? Here's the truth. Who knows? This is, guys, this is something new. This is Billy Corgan going it's uncharted beyond. territory. It, 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 it really is a territory in the modern era trying to have a feeder system. It's worked for some places before, maybe different verbiage, but this will be its own dynamic. I can tell you this much. We have constant conversations with William Patrick Corrigan about this. It's evolving. It's growing. What happens next? Well, one man knows that, and we're all filling in the blanks as we go along. Guys, this is a big deal. It could change the entire landscape of the National Wrestling Alliance. I mean, let's be honest. It's been 48 hours and already started. And sit back, relax, enjoy. The more wrestling there is, the better it is for everybody. The more opportunity there is for everybody. We've got one hour programming during the week. That means there's so much NWA talent that needs more ability to be seen by you, the fans. Cleveland, Ohio is the first step in giving those people a stepping stone, a lily pad, if you would, to float above the water that is professional wrestling for you to see them and enjoy them and get some new talent out there as they grow and evolve for the National Wrestling Alliance brand. Yeah, it's good for young talent. Gives you stuff to work. It's basically like house shit. Yeah. That's how they can approach it. You go you to know, Arkansas? Uh, mm, beautiful Arkansas. Like, where in Arkansas, Amy? Pine Bluff? Where are we talking? I've done shows all over Arkansas. That's where I met old Tim Storm, actually. Mm -hmm. Back in 09. And, they, and Danny Hodge was showing uh, us the shoot hold on this young knows? dude. And we oh, kept acting like we didn't know what he was saying, so he kept doing it to him. <laughs> uh, does does WWE own Smoky Mountain? I feel like they do. Uh, they they own the footage, but there was an NWA Smoky Mountain in Kingsport. Tony Gibbons used to run. It was an NWA affiliate right before uh, Lightning won. Um, and they used to have like AJ Styles versus Chase Owens and all that kind of stuff. They used to put on good shows, but he, he called it NWA Smoky Mountain and nobody ever came after him. So, um, I don't know. Maybe right. it was just, maybe it was just in the way that he, uh, maybe the way he had it, uh, trademarked or the way he had it written. You know, trademarks are funky. You can, you know, so. Mm. Yeah, That's I don't know. Sure, trademarks are funky. The, the long story short, folks, it's a, it's a new world. We're all learning it together. And stay tuned. Just whatever happens is going to happen. And I hope you enjoy the ride. Yeah, I love the idea of this uh, 12 man tournament to determine the X. I worked for about 15 different NWA affiliates back when nobody ever paid attention, back in 09. Your uncle was the champion, Kyle. Uh, yes, he was, and I was working in the New England affiliates yeah. with the National Wrestling Alliance up there during that time, too. NWA made event Nashville, Ultimate NWA in Alabama. I can I was in the Los Angeles contingent over there with NWA Mr. Prime Time. I was in Georgia somewhere. 
Uh, yeah. It was blue demon the, uh, and forever, and then your 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 uncle got it, and then he actually traveled with the demon. Wouldn't leave. Mexico. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He wouldn't go anywhere. I miss Uncle Pierce. I should give him a call. See how he's doing. Easy. Former NWA world champion. Oh, True. Champion. True. What about Joe Casino questions for a territory? The, uh, of course. Why not? We use this ring enough. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I've, I've, I've worked a couple of Kazana shows. Me and the boys have been down there a few times. It, it, it's, it is kind of half ass to be a show anyway. Really? Alex, Plunky, uh, Roxy, uh, Kylie, uh, Rolando, uh, Gustavo. I can't remember everybody who was there. AJ. Kazana right there. AJ Kazana looking for a partner for the country gentleman. We've seen the yeah, graphics. So much. NWA Power. Uh, the new country gentlemen are going to step up to the plate and try to reclaim what the team that they lost. Thank what you. Kyle, look at me. Broadcaster. Let's go. Gary, you should have had the graphic right there, the power graphic for tomorrow as Kyle was saying. Well, I'm, I'm getting messages just getting through people day. saying that, that, that they should send me promos right now, and so they're asking where to send them to. And uh, anyway, but there you go. Yeah, the U.S. Tag Team Championships. Uh, it's on the line, country gentlemen, this weekend or this week on power. Uh, AJ says he has a partner, um, so I guess we're going to see. Actually, uh, he did uh, have this on uh, socials here. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do, Sam, when you're lugging around dead weight? What do you do, Sam? When you are the backbone of the tag team that you're a part of, what do you do when there's dead weight dragging you down? You cut the son of a gun off and you put one right between his eyes and you bury him where he should have been 10 years ago. I've got a partner, I've got my father, and I've got a right hand that'll knock anybody out. By the end of this match, you'll both know you're <laughs> dead to rights. There you go. That's uh, AJ Kazana says he's got a partner. Did so. anyone else notice that he buried Anthony Andrews in the bed of a pickup truck? That's an interesting place to bury him. <laughs> yeah, it might be illegal. Uh. <laughs> it was weird that he was shoveling dirt into the back of the pickup truck. Uh, <laughs> he apparently buried the dead body. I don't know. <laughs> Do things different in whatever part of Tennessee AJ's from. With the Bullhead Ranch. Yeah, East Tennessee. Sandra, we can't do that. Anthony Andrews has been buried in the back of a pickup truck. <laughs> yeah. He, he's in East do? Tennessee. We're civilized here in the Nashville area. But, yeah, East Tennessee, they're crazier. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, that's happening. What uh, else do you know, power what? tomorrow? Oh, you want to just talk about power? Going. We can do that. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, well, I just figured we were there, you know. Oh, look at that. Look at that. There is a big uh, episode Andrew. of NWA Power tomorrow night. Look at this. I mean, uh, one thing, your boys, the Southern Six, are in action against the Spectaculars. Oh, oh boy. boy. Uh, put, put your money on the Southern Six. Come on. Hey, man, we got to see both ends of a phone conversation between Rush and Rolanda. That was on social media. I don't know if you have that, Gary. I if wish not, I did. Fine. I thought don't about getting it. it. It's. It will, I'm sure we're going to have enough Rush on this. You are. Program. Don't Anyways. worry. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, them Southern Six boys—they're—they're they're ready for just a big old ass kicking. I mean, they're just ready. Just like Alex is just deals. You know, he's just at another level with the heat. Like oh, nobody yeah. likes Rush Freeman, but Alex is like really hates that. Dude. No, yeah, <laughs> words cannot describe. I mean, they could, but you know, we're gonna try to keep it PG-ish. So let's just leave that alone. But yeah, he doesn't like him at all. That's that's true. Yeah, another great, promo you great should go out of your you should go out of your way to check out Sal's uh, promo on his Instagram this week. Uh, I don't, I don't have that one here. We're going to see more from Sal later, but uh, Sal Renaro in action. Sal the pal, I should say, versus Jadias. That's good. Old Frankenberry, his old partner. This is yeah. a big one. This is a. I don't know. Feel feel for uh, Sal here. This is quite the mismatch. It feels like. Uh, well, but he then, lost his damn brain, and and Frankenberry is going to put him. Through the ring, through the ground. Uh, so I don't feel bad for him. I don't like either one of them, actually. If you guys don't remember, Frank and Barry attempted to kill me in St. Louis last year. So I do. I used to have that clip queued up, and I, I should bring it back. But uh, no, no, we don't need to see that. Nobody wants to see. Nobody wants to see the deal machine uh, being uh, 
having attempted murder come on. Just, nobody wants to see. It. Um, uh, besides the U.S., I mean, we've been doing. He chokes on me so hard, he chokes on me right in the announce booth. <laughs> Brother, knocked me out of the business. We've been doing so great with uh, with these title matches. Another big one this week is Mims will take on Zicky Dice for the World Television Championship. That's there a- must be a winner. There is no six oh five time limit on this match. We must have a new television champion there absolutely <laughs> will be um let's uh, what's a poll in the chat who who do they got who you yeah, got who, who do you think mims or zicky Who's does we say the- no chance mims like mims doesn't have a chance or saying no chance it's gonna be mims yeah you gotta clarify that wes um yeah. no well, there's a comma there so there's he's saying no chance, egg, no chance. Mims, mims. Uh, posted fried egg emojis i don't know what that means um all right mims. mike's saying mims zicky all right uh, uh, it's looking Joe, so, my uh, phone is Mims. blowing up right now, and it's very hard to even focus on this. What we're doing right now with having to answer questions from other yeah, people. I'm getting a lot of stuff out there. I, I'd like to like I would like to thank everybody that owns a professional wrestling ring for reaching out to be a part of our new territory system. We will get back to you in an orderly fashion. <laughs> I also would like to thank everybody who saw that I was looking to get our website updated, who's reached out. And apparently my cell phone number is just randomly on the internet. So I have a bunch of random people being like, hey, when can we talk? By the way, if you're in the chat and you are a web developer and you specialize in making really cool looking websites. Yes. Call, call Kyle Davis. Let me pull up your number. Uh, it's already out there. <laughs> I mean, it exists. I don't know. It's on Facebook. Just DM, uh, obviously, if you do websites, you could do social media. So find Kyle on social media, slide into his DMs, and just be like, hey, yeah. I, I make, I do the website for this person, or I've made the website for Jiffy Lube or whatever. Yeah. And uh, we're looking for some, uh, you know, we, our team's great, but like sometimes, uh, you know, web developing. What, what do we use? Squarespace there, Gary? You know, Squarespace, yeah. Squarespace. 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 So if you're good at Squarespace, uh, I'm a webmaster by trade, and we got servers. All right, Media M5. I don't know what that means, but uh, you, you should know. DM somebody. Yeah, you should DM somebody. Um, I've been asking you guys for you. years. Uh, I was uh, well, supposed to I, I make it thing. for WA, but Tharp left. Wow, look at that. Who's Tharp? Uh, Bruce Tharp's the guy who owned NWA before Billy. Oh, well, that's the you didn't ask us then. You asked some other guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You fucking ask me. <laughs> See, you guys are getting the ring version of what happens to me after a taping because I book so many DMs, DMs direct me and I can my, get my DMs info. explode with people going, hello, I have a promo, or where do I send I it? Booked? Yeah, all the DMs time. Are, uh, <laughs> DMs are tough, oh. like they, especially to the NWA account. Media just... M5, get, slide, slide into Kyle Davis's DMs, and we'll put you in the rotation of people that we're looking at. If you want to include some links to some websites that you built. Please you know, do. Like what, what you're looking for as far as compensation goes, you know, I, I'd really help with it. So. Maybe we'd like a super modern look, maybe at a roster page, maximize our photographic mm-hmm. library so we can have it up there or every your, or week. Or our library, not our library, whichever one you want. Yeah. Oh, library. Nice library. You said library. but that's Dude, I'm, I'm trying not to have a breakdown as I'm literally trying to focus on three things. There's, there's it's been list. working. Whoever whoever ends up with it will give you an autographed eight by ten of gear. That's yeah, right. oh. and not only that, yeah, not only that, I'm going to sweeten the deal. Remember, I asked this. We've got some new viewers in here, so I'm asking for help in writing my vows. I get married this Saturday. I've have writer's block. So if you've got some nice quotes or a Taylor Swift song that's got a lyric or anything like that, put it in the chat, and then I'll take a look. And if I pick any of those things, then it goes into the vows. Danny Deals is going to send you a signed 8x10 of not just me and the future wife, but also like somebody like maybe Mims or maybe Zicky Dice with that television title because that's what we were originally talking about. But if you do the website, you'll get a signed 8x10 of, of me. Gary. Not signed by me, but it's signed by Kyle. <laughs> yeah, you will definitely get one of Gary. <laughs> of me. I draw, I, draw Gary. I draw a picture of glasses and a little dude and say Gary. And it send it off to you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I saw somebody in the chat mention this too. Mibs been around since the first season of Power. Mibs was around even before that. Look at this. I found this picture. Wow. There. Look at that. Mibs. He, like he had guns back then. Well, yeah. he was always Jack. Yeah. Yeah. That is where a, is, that? is the that... pop up of you know, that's really? what the uh, that's at the Woman Rudolph Event Center. Oh, that's right. It is. Yeah. We did the uh, pop up show there with Tried and True, and Mibs worked uh, security and crew for us at tried and true prior to, and while he was training. 
So he, 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 that night, he, he came in looking like that. So, I mean, he Ooh, was always Jack. Good one, James. Yeah. I'll think about that one, James. Yeah, I got any, that. Uh, uh, oh, any news about Saw Win? Axel Gonzalez is asking. Me, so it's actually oh, I'm glad oh. you asked. Oh. Talk, you know, uh, it just it just came up. I just saw it posted online, so we put the graphic out while we're waiting to uh, answer some more questions. But uh, Matt Cardona is booked for NWA Saw Win. Now, now we were waiting to to clear pay per view what he'd be Death doing match. there that the Deathmatch King would be doing there, but. Well, somebody jumped the gun and got the information out there that he was going to be there. So uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. The Deathmatch King will be at Saw Win. He is booked 1028 Cleveland, Ohio. Tickets at nwatix.com. What he will be doing there remains to be seen, but he will be there, and I can only assume. Forget every, my wedding. This is where I want to be. And in Saw every win, picture, baby. he looks like he just stubbed his toe. Or he smelled a really nasty fart. Or those spikes spikes are double-sided and they're jetting into his skin. He's torturing himself. (laughs) We don't need need another one. Or maybe what's happening behind him is what happens when he farts. So Joe's right. Oh, that's what that is? That's that's the visualization. (laughs) Mike Cardona's fart? Okay, so what was the the final poll? We going Mims or Zicky Dice? It looked like Mims started to come out on top, I think. Feel like, but I don't there's know. no love for the Zick man. You know, he is a former, former TV champ, television baby. champion. Yeah. Former TV Technically, champ. I don't even think he ever lost. He put out. He put out a really well produced promo. Gary, do we have that? Ah, oh, man, I wish I did. <laughs> <laughs> I that that's the catcher. Is Gary? Do we Gary, have that? We have that, Barry. That's my. That's just why I say when I grab you by the Colby. pants and throw you from the bus. I saw Colby Carino pissed off on Twitter. Do we have that video? Yeah, it was Colby Carino pissed on Twitter. He's trying to get it to me. No, oh, he, he said that you told him to send it to me. Yeah, and he says he's trying to send me something. It's so, so. difficult to like. I don't know how my thumbs work. Oh. All right. Oh, there we go. Ziggy dice. It's Ziggy, but yeah, Ziggy. I don't know. I might have to go with the the Zick Master. Kyle disagrees. Con- Kyle. No, no. I was super confused because I'm reading the chat and and I was it said that. Uh, that uh, Mims was in the first match on NWA Power to ever air, and I was just like, I remember it was the Dawson's versus Salernaro and somebody. Well, so. that's the yeah, only he was it. He was no. on the very first match. If, I think he was no. there for the first season, but yeah, he, he, yeah. he he definitely had some. I think he. I'm he just saying there. it's again Rush Freeman derailing the show because he's giving information that's inaccurate. My money is on the man Zicky Dice. See that color in the background right there? It's my favorite color. I like outlandish people. Is that, is that for Cardona or Zicky? Somebody who has definitely busted his ass to get where he is. But at the end of the day, Zicky Dice, you can't trust a man like that. And I think when you can't trust somebody, they've got the advantage in a match. I'm going to get the card for the first episode of Power. I Rush, think. that might have been. I'm at it right now. He, how about this? That wasn't the first match that aired, Mims and Daniel no. versus Dan and Royce. Maybe it was shot. Season Who knows? One. Maybe it was a pre-match. Austin versus Sal Renaro and Billy Buck. Eli Drake versus Caleb Connolly. The wild cards, Tom Latimer and Royce Isaacs defeat Danny White and, and Matthew Mims. There he yeah. is. He was, so that it was, was the first match. match. It was third first third match. Then also okay. James Storm versus the late great Josephus. And Nick Aldis defeated Tim Storm. What a freaking card. By the way, when you, you text me, and I say, please email me some details and cost, and then you consider to continue texting me instead of emailing me. You've already lost me. <laughs> yeah, you heard, Bubs. Yeah. yeah. First, it's been four years since NWA Power debuted. I have gained weight, had a lot of life changes. Joe Galley, it's got gray hair now every now and then, folks. Oh, I also like, you know, it's, it's getting there. Whoa. <laughs> Kamala. Dad's getting started before I'm a dad. He's, he's, I'm no longer doing infomercials. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I found Look one of those that. the other day. I was going to post it. 15 second increments now, which. Yeah. I found I one of those the other day. I was going to post but it. also not beneficial to us selling things. Yeah. I, uh, I realized that an inside joke has not really helped us at all. <laughs> What's that? What are you talking about? Wouldn't it be funny if you just had 15 minute seconds, 15 second ads, and then oh, like yeah. we were like, oh, hey, but then we realized he's actually not promoting no, anything. It doesn't help us sell anything. Yeah. 
Now, I did well, find I mean, did... for those people who are interested in buying some things, though, I should point out that Danny Deals did bring oh, up a special promo you... code for the Today streamers Today and tomorrow. I don't Today know if tomorrow. I have these, but... You look at that. Power Deals I do have a few. 20% of off in the shop right now. You can get some cool stuff. I mean, how about this? Whoa, you can get that new that. Kinsey. That's what all the kids are after. That new Kinsey drop. I that like shirt that. is moving. That shirt is moving. Better get it now. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you also got the badass hoodie. Oh yeah, I should have those any day. Actually, I should be here any day. I'm gonna, I'm yeah. gonna have to grab one of them in Cleveland for sure. There's a pullover and hoodie. Sports. Yeah. Hey, look the at that! Travis in stock, ready to go. That showed up. I sent all the pre-orders out already. That's in stock now. And just so you know, ladies and gentlemen, if you're a little concerned because Aaron Stevens is a snake in the grass, he doesn't get a nickel from any of those shirts. Yep. Lots oh, yeah. of cool stuff in the shop right now. Oh, I love to check that out. Oh yeah, buddy, that Southern Six shirt. That's a I can't keep it. Uh-huh. And there's there's Ozone signing those turnbuckles. Yep, <laughs> yep. there he is. Twenty percent off power deals. Deals. How long does that code last again? To, today, tomorrow. Today um, and tomorrow. For the, so for the stream ski, they're in here. You're in the your your stream ski. It's in there. I got some other cool stuff coming too, but I can't I can't put it up yet because I don't have proper uh, lots of lots of activity bit. going on in the shop. Lots of activity. Uh, but I am gonna I am gonna post that old infomercial I found just because it makes me but, no Cephas because it was just him and I doing it. Yeah, Joe Galley <laughs> always uh, has the right idea, so I do want to give him credit for this. Uh, this is worth seeing right now if you haven't already. Here is uh, this past week on NWA Power the face off between Matthew Bibbs and Ziggy Dice. NWA fans are joining me at the podium at this time. Both individuals won four-way matches as TV title qualifiers, and these two individuals will go one-on-one to determine who will be the new world television champion. Of course, joining me at this time, big, strong Mims, Zicky Dice. Gentlemen, it is your time. History will be made. A new NWA world television champion. One of you men will walk away with the gold. Now, we talk about history here in the NWA. Let me tell you a little bit of history about me about big, strong mims. Maybe people don't know this. I was the man sitting around here coming in and carrying the ring that the man right next to me was wrestling in the first couple of seasons of power. And I got an opportunity. Billy Corgan looked out there and he said, that guy right there, the sexy chocolate one, that's me. He said, that man needs to be in a ring of mine. A ring with those three letters that say NWA, he needs to be in that ring. And what did I do? I took that opportunity. I took it by the horns, I wrestled that bull down, and I'm here today to tell you I'm ready to fight for another opportunity that he's given me all over again. Matter of fact, he hasn't just given it to me, I've earned it. That's what I've done. I beat three other men and I earned it. Now that's enough about me, we've already caught up to today, but let's talk a little bit more history about the man right next to me, Zicky Dice. If I remember before, weren't you a little bit outlandish? Just a little bit outlandish, one of these, one of those. Now what did Ziggy Dice do in the NWA before? Now this man is a former, former world television champion. Now what happened with that? Didn't he uh, take that title and he, he tried to run? He got, he got kicked out of this company. What did he do after that when he turned his back on the NWA? He got a little bit disrespectful. Just a little bit disrespectful, a little spicy in the lips and blasted that same Billy Corgan from that little story I told earlier. The man that gave me an opportunity. The man that respected me enough to say, I need that man in my ring. But somebody, not gonna name names, got a little bit disrespectful and I can't say that I respect that. I can't respect that, I can't respect that. And I get the golden opportunity not only to grab the World Television Championship that has eluded me for so long, I get to come into a ring and beat this man. I get to beat some respect in him. I get to let him know that he didn't just walk back into the NWA all willy-nilly. No, he's got to earn his spot back, and he's going to earn that spot back when I beat that ass. Zicky, I mean, he doesn't tell a story that's untrue. You want to talk about disrespect? You know, it's disrespectful. I don't think we've had the pleasure of meeting. What's your name? Mims, let me tell you something. 
The pleasure's all mine. My name is Outlandish Ziggy Dice. Why you stand up here looking like an eight dollar champion? <laughs> and tell me bold faced lies. We all know that every single channel you've been flipping through, you see Outlandish Ziggy Dice, Mimsy, the same channels you've been touching yourself to. So let me tell you something, because since I left the NWA, I've lost everything. I've lost my mind, I lost my wife, and hell, I almost lost my life. But there's one thing that hasn't changed, and that's Zicky Dice's television. So if you think that you can fill this fanny, <laughs> you're wrong. Outlandish is just the roll of the dice, and let's hope you don't roll snake eyes. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. That is the face-off between the two men that will be competing for the World Television Championship this Tuesday night on NWA Power. This is a big match. I, I have never... I don't know. That is the best Mims has ever sounded to me. He looks fired up. He looks ready to go. Zicky, Spicy on the lips. I like that. I did like that line. One of these, one of those. Mibs had it all together right there. I, I hope that that translates to big things for him in the ring. We're going to find out tomorrow night. I'm going Zicky. He's got the experience. My money's still on Zicky. Again, you can't trust a man like that, no matter how good of an athlete you are, Mims. You're a good man. You're not hey, willing to cheat to win, and Zicky is. So, somewhere in the middle of all of that, by the way, uh, it's Destiny just popped Oh, Destiny Rock. I'm just going to tell you that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> look at that. From day one, I knew you were meant – to be forever we were meant to be forever you are the most beautiful woman i've ever seen i Ooh. promise to always take care of you i promise to always listen to you and to protect you that's it that actually feels like legitimate oh, advice for uh, like a, for what a are you doing in this chat with actual serious emotional ability to convey like that i mean yeah. I, there, there's I, no way i'm gonna remember all that hold screen up screen 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 screen. Screen. there we go that that, <laughs> that might be worth the eight by ten right there yeah. 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 Uh, uh, Destiny dropping the actual legitimate advice. In the, she uh, does rock. <laughs> Destiny does rock. Thank you so much for that. Yes, Media M5. I, I do need help. So whatever you can put in the chat that just helped me inspire. That was that was a good one there. That was guys. Cool. He is yeah, so dedicated to the National Wrestling Alliance brand that right now, planning his wedding, days away, I'll be there hanging out with that man trying to make it happen. But the truth of the matter is. He's got so much work happening, so much breaking news in the National Wrestling Alliance that he's literally being like, ah. Hey, wrestling fans, write right my vows for me. Anybody got any advice <laughs> about vows? I haven't had, had time to think about this. I'm going to a damn pay-per-view for January. What the? Because the last oh, thing that wants to happen is for him to be up at the altar. I'm up there. I got the suit on and everything. We're looking good. And he goes, I just want to let you know that coming up Saturday, October 28th, Cleveland, <laughs> Ohio. Shall win. It's going to be live on pay-per-view at Fight and get your tickets if you're going to be in the area. Temple Live, where EC3 will be defending his NWA World's Heavyweight Championship against Tom Latimer. You don't want him to be saying things like that up at the altar. But that well, was great, uh, me, that was great for us right now. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for that. <laughs> You're also going to see Kenzie Page defend the uh, NWA World Women's Championship against Ruthie J. That's going to be a good one. Or how about Colby Carino defending against Joe Alonzo? I love that. You're going to see the Freak Show, the Dark Carnival. How about this? Uh, Brothers of Fudge. Uh, Brothers of Fudstruction with Violet J are going to be taking on La Rebellion with Vampiro in their corner. Pretty empowered have to put the NWA Women's World Tag Team titles on the line against Natalia Markova and Taylor Rising and Blood Force Trauma defending the World Tag Team Championships against Knox and Murdoch. That's going to be huge. Uh, also, it's last week nice on the show, if you weren't table. here, uh, if you weren't here last week, you saw Kerry Morton 
Alex Taylor offering an open challenge for NWA Silent on October 28th in Cleveland. Who's going to answer that call? We're going to find out hopefully soon. And then, of course, the newest breaking news, Matt Cardona will Matthew. also be at Sawin. This is uh, it's going to be a big pay-per-view. Uh, tickets are on sale right now at WATix.com. Pay-per-view is available on Fight. Chris Drummond, you mentioned something in the chat I wanted to bring up real quick if we could. Uh, congratulations go out to Max the Impaler, who, if you haven't been paying attention, uh, they were in Japan this week. And uh, as of today, officially, it was like early a.m. for us. But in Japan, Max at TP TPJW, Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling, won the Princess Championship in a double title match where Max put their NWA Women's Television title on the line against uh, Rika Tatsumi and Max came out on top there. So congrats to Max the Impaler. I don't know about footage, Chris. Uh, I saw you asking about that, but it would be cool. Uh, I, I do know personally that that uh, President William Patrick Corgan has been huge on this uh, relationship with the uh, Tokyo Joshi Pro, and so hopefully this is the beginning of uh, more. Uh, Two belt Max. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, Two belt Max. Yeah. Every title Max wins, they should just add an extra X to their name. Oh, I like that. So that's how we know how many championships Max has. Yeah, there's so much going on right now for the National Wrestling Alliance, it's hard to keep up. In fact, I need to take a breath, and the only way I know to get a good breather is, uh, I don't know, how about some story time with Rush? We're gonna rise from the dust. Rush Freeman's never seen a Bobby Eaton match. I don't give a shit about his opinion on anything. <laughs> He's barely a wrestler. He's a Has he really not? Board. Has he really not? Is that a shoot? I'm sure it is. <laughs> sure it specific. I felt like there was a conversation that was had at some point in time, but he was like, what? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another spectacular edition of Storytime with Rush. So... Just gonna jump right to the point. Last week we had these two idiots on the live stream. We had Kerry Morton and we had Alex Taylor, the Southern Six. Well, Alex Taylor made some some remarks that I didn't even I I'd never even watched a Bobby Eaton match before. So look behind me here. This shirt right here, bring that camera in here. This shirt right here was given to me when I wrestled at Bobby Eaton's memorial show in Alabama back in 2021. So it's Alex, we all make mistakes, all right? It's it's fine. I'll give you the pass on this. We all make mistakes. I mean, look, the NWA made a mistake when they hired you. So, it is what it is. But, as you see, I'm missing my bow tie. Let's go ahead and bring one out here. Another cool thing that I have behind me. A bow tie. Because this is my work truck. You see, I am a successful man. I'm not this stupid freaking moron you guys make me out to be. I have a college degree. I have two, actually. I have a bachelor's in science and uh, environmental health and safety management. I have a master's of business administration. So I'm a pretty accomplished guy. I am pretty successful in my career outside of wrestling where you guys really aren't. I mean, well, Carrie, you're, you're, yeah, you are. I'm, I'm not going to lie. You're doing really good. Uh, your parents must be very proud of you because you're a college cheerleader and, you know, it's cheerleading season. Uh, Alex, your time's coming up. You know, next month, the malls are going to start bringing in Santa Claus again and you'll get to have your, your job working as, as the elf with Santa. So your time's coming, brother. Anyway, thank you for tuning in for Storytime with Rush. I will see you guys this week on NWA Power on Tuesday. Rush, fire well, shots so it's back. His work truck. So I wonder if the actual company pays for the truck. Like he doesn't actually, he didn't, he didn't buy that mid-level pickup truck. Um, but you know, why are you firing and, and shots also, at Rush? Also, he wrestled at the memorial after he had passed. Which does not answer the question of if you actually ever watched Bobby. Eaton. Hey, Alex has a comment here, Gary. Uh, oh, what's <laughs> oh boy! Oh, Alex! <laughs> Woo! Uh, I can't there. wait for Tuesday. I can't wait for I, Tuesday. I can't wait for Tuesday. Oh, it's tomorrow. Tuesday. That's tomorrow at six five Eastern. That's five o five here oh, for me. That is right here too. Oh boy! 
Joe, I just uh, see that. AJ Kazana even in the <laughs> chat saying, uh, just because he has a shirt doesn't mean he's seen a Bobby Eaton match. Thank you, AJ. Jesus. Yeah. I've actually heard him refer to him as Robert Eating. And I was like, no, that's not right. Robert Eating is not right. So, AJ. Okay, never mind. We were going to ask him about Barry and Brother, but. AJ, who's your partner? Yeah. Fill the beans right now. AJ, who's the partner? You're here. Share with the group. Devin, uh, company. Is it Gary? Is it Gary? He, yeah, is he Gary your better. partner? Is AJ Kazana ain't walking into a title match with Gary as his partner. Why not? You're a big dude, Gary. I've seen you do a move small, Gary. You can get down a little bit. No, no. You wanna <laughs> you wanna win the match, so also, I don't. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. I don't want to be in the ring across from uh, Daisy Kill, much less Talos. So yeah. don't don't put me in that spot. Man, oh, Napalm Death. He's every bit of seven foot, isn't he? Yeah, and uh, Daisy Kills. I mean, you know, he he looks no, like crazy. a smaller guy next to next to Talos, but Daisy Kills like a sizable guy. Yeah. Uh, so you know, it's all right. Thank you, Devin. Though Gary could uh, hit a quick super kick. There you and go. That'd be like all I had on me. Well, so. Cassandra thinks it's Kyle. It might be. It might be. Kyle might just AJ rip Cassandra the says I can neither confirm it. nor <laughs> deny <laughs> that it's Gary. I, I, I started taking creatine. I'm full of rage. I'm looking for an outlet right now for quite a bit of frustration. And if it needs to be me, as long as I get to hit Rush Freeman in the head multiple times. I'm kidding. I love Rush Freeman. Oh, I'm lying. No, I really want bad things to happen to him. Where am I kidding? I don't know, folks. That's professional wrestling. You never know what's going to happen. Is somebody going to take out Rush Freeman's knee? Like this was like the Olympic era right there with like Tanya Harden and Nancy Kerrigan. Who's to say? But if it does happen, it wasn't me. All right. I have gotten. The man called you Mini Dane. He said Mini Dane is hot. (laughs) I love Jax Dane. And Jax Dane is realizing nowadays that maybe having a leather lawyer wasn't the best course of action for his career. And I know that tomorrow night on Power, Jack Stane is going to have a conversation regarding where he stands with the Savages. I'm looking forward to it. Even when Jax wasn't doing the best things, he's always been nothing but respectful to me. Even when he was bullying me, he was just trying to make sure that I said all of the things that need to be said in his introduction. Jack Stane, mini Jack Stane, I'm there for it. Good times, great memories. Yeah. You guys keep talking because I have I have heard enough about this Colby promo that is making its round on Twitter, and I am going to go get it. And by it's God, good. we are going to share it with good. the people. And so, I had to text bear him. with me a minute here. Well, he's pit. I mean, he's pit. I watched it while Lars Freeman was flapping his gums because I knew that was fucking pointless. So I wanted to watch something that was going to be worth my time. <laughs> God damn. Well, you know, J- Joseph Alonso talked all that trash. He's talking about his, his wife, and that that's where I would. Oh. Mm. I, I, you know, you're about to sign a franchise contract, Joe. You don't understand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Talking about got arrested. This thing, Tanya yeah. Harding, Rush Freeman. I think that'd be the best thing for him. That'd be a, a turning point. Hey, my me is shot. I have a, a doctor's appointment on Wednesday to see what's torn on it and what's beat up. Maybe I'm just trying to make sure that other people experience the joy of having a knee that barely gets you up and down stairs. But we'll find out. Or am I swerving you? And I am a mystery partner. You're going to have to tune in to find out tomorrow night. Kyle's going to do this and rip Eastern. the sleeves off his suit jacket. And it'll get oh. <laughs> no, uh, I, I, I was told that I'm not allowed to destroy the tuxedo that I had to get for uh, my young friends. He's going to get in there and whoop his ass like the Steelers beat this punk-ass Ravens yesterday. Man, very, if I, very listen, excited about that. Somebody who once upon a time was a Ravens fan when he cared about sports. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's upsetting. Well, good. They lost yesterday, and I loved it. The Steelers beat their ass at Sun Pack. They didn't beat their ass, but they won. <laughs> all right, I've got it. Let's uh, let's see what what the the all the hype is about. Everybody's messaging me about Kobe Carino. Let's see what's going on there. Joe Alonzo, I want you to listen close because I'm only going to say this once. My family is not your promo material, and I get it, man. That's your shtick. You can't cut it in the ring. You can't make people excited to watch you wrestle. So you got to hop on social media, and you got to say the most wild shit you're breaking in Jersey. So maybe people buy tickets to watch you get your ass kicked. And I get it, man. <laughs> I knew it was coming to me. I'm not an idiot. I don't got thin skin. You can say whatever you want about me. When you say something about my wife, when you say something about my kid, that's crossing the line. 
And it, it's absolutely bonkers to me that someone like you is going to make comments about uh, someone's physical appearance when you look like you don't even know a guy named Jim. But I'm going to do you a solid. I'm going to give you the benefit. I'm not having to walk around the locker room like you were at Angry 75 asking everyone, Oh, is Homicide going to beat me up? Oh, I think Homicide's mad at me. I'm going to tell you exactly what is coming to you. At NWA Sawwind, I'm going to kick your ass. I'm going to beat you down. And if you walk out of that ring at all, that's going to be a blessing. Because you are not walking out of there as champion, I can tell you that. NWA wants to promote this as the most violent pay-per-view in NWA history. And I intend to make that happen. And I don't need weapons to do it. Wow. Wow. This brought the mood down, I feel like. I, uh... No, no, I feel that right there. I'm yeah, dressing. Who are the chips I'm today? Dressing. These are just <laughs> fake sour cream and onion lays because less less contact of sugar and fat, and I got to look good again. Yeah, there's I'm a I'm just, just throw in the chat what, what the vows could be. Just help me out here. I, I could just take part of Colby's promo, but I don't know if any of that works for my wedding. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you what, priest. You guys say <laughs> you're, you're saying that that Amy and you know one of my favorite promos of all time. I gotta say was uh, and yeah, we, you know, I get it. Is but it, Jake the Snake was always See, here's the thing whispering, and you had to listen. You had you're, to pay yeah, attention. Harry, Harry, you're you're into to Shelby and just whisper. If if you yell, everyone hears you. When you whisper, everyone listens. Ah, look at Joey G. Really, that's the difference. Joey G running a seminar for free yeah, here, guys. Come on now. There you go. Kind of like how Curly had to run one in the ring during a match but <laughs> to fix her. Joey, 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 Joey. Cam is too. <laughs> oh, media, that's, that is pretty good. Yeah, Joe Alonzo is dead, but look at this. From the moment I've seen you, you, I, felt... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Joe. <laughs> no says, words can express what you've mean <laughs> I thought you should be mine. Just like you got it together. Force our hearts and minds. I, I love, no, that's good, media. That's good. I, I, but this we might, I'm little... sure you're texting fast. I get it. I'm not. I'm not judging you. You know, it's fine. I oh, just want Joe to say, from the moment I've seen you. Yeah, let me tell you something. They are in text. It could work. First time I checked you out. Oh, what? What is this? Wait, let's see. You've oh, oh, give me another version. Me like a seed to the sun. On this Whoa. day, my heart grows even more with the love oh. of the sun done with our life ahead of us. Hold on, hold no, on. Leave it on the screen so we can take a picture. Wait, wait, okay, I got that one. All right, that one's for the. That's that's the keeping pile. Eric Dale says, uh, look up on the internet and some poetry for the vows. Shakespeare, Byron, Shelley. I don't want to rely on the internet. The Bible. It's full of lies and fake news. I want to talk to our chat because I know it's real people. It's not bots. It's not chat GBT. It is the, the, the tried and true, pardon the pun for what we talked about earlier, but the fans that follow us, they watched me propose to Shelby in the ring at NWA 74, so I know that their hearts and their minds are in the right place. Ugh. None of y'all ever before? been divorced before, eh? Oh, Jesus. Kyle, <laughs> shut up. No, don't, don't, don't. Let's move forward. That's my room in the background instead of an office you right now. It. Yeah. Damn it, Gary. <laughs> Christ, we just went from oh. we just went from vertical horizon to the cure. Don't do that, guys. The <laughs> only thing that us is a foul. <laughs> from the moment we met. No, no, Sal, you got to feel it. You got to feel it in your soul and in your thighs and in the buns. And once you feel it in the thighs and the soul, the buns will move on their own. So it's like that. You got to add some mm to it. I give up. Nah, I dropped down and got my ego on. <laughs> I'll take you as my first wife is a great line. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. mm. From the moment we met, I knew we would be divorced was something that someone put in the chat. <laughs>
I mentioned the one-eyed, thick-thighed weapon of ass destruction. <laughs> yeah, we didn't it. even see Sal yeah. doing the dance, but that's no, all. we didn't even see Sal twerking. What? No, because Sal had had torn his his butt literally just months back. So that was him showing. That's part of his rehab. He's getting back. Hamstrings. Hamstrings. Hamstring is your ass. Let's not freak out. <laughs> it's a part of. It goes all the way up, and it, it's right there. Okay, yeah, you're, you're you're one with to your thigh bone too. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> So oh God, God, they're still oh, coming they're in. Still coming Who poetry is open until I see a seas of wow? It's a wonderful city. What would I seen Ms. Marvel and shine like a diamond, but did underneath it. <laughs> there's a beautiful terrible. water treat somewhere. No. What are you talking about? What is happening? Mr. <laughs> Mr. Smith might not be a real human being. Right. Oh my okay, God. Wait, go. Smith was in the matrix. Wasn't Smith the villain? Oh man, that could be this go jump. Yeah, the agent. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, just Mr. Either agent. way, listen, Joe's gonna find the words that he needs. If only we knew somebody who was a linguist that wrote songs that just attached to people's emotions and pulled at their heartstrings for decades. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, but some it's of those a, are like sad songs if you read the lyrics. So that Oh, aren't they all sad songs, folks? How many Not people play one at their wedding when it's a song about growing apart and realizing that, you know, you're not for each other anymore? But still, uh, we've got Andrew Dice Clay now in the chat. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, so many things coming up. We've got NWA Power. Have we talked about every match that's going to be on that episode, Gary? Yeah, we talked about every match. But we can Fantastic. Tomorrow night. The Southern Six versus the Spectaculars. This Rush Freeman thing is going to get resolved one right. way or another. You've Those two teams the are going. damn show, Rush. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're going to see Sal the pal the versus Jadias. Hey, listen, I've heard I've heard it on good authority. Sal's getting treatment for his latest condition. So hopefully these moments of Sal don't suffer because of it, because I heard Sal's getting better. So get him out of here. here. All right. Just say AJ Kazana and a Miss Kyle Barker. The new country gentlemen, they're going to take on Daisy Kill and Talos for the United States Tag Team Championship. Can AJ win it back? Uh, get rid of the dead weight and move it in with a new date. See what I did there? Ooh. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, of course, the World Television Championship is on the line. Mibs, Zicky Dice, new somebody team. has to win this match. We're going to have a new TV Every champion main. tomorrow. Yeah. We don't care about the time limit. It must be a Gotta win be a winner. Got to be a winner. Who will be the next TV champion? There's only one way to find out. Ricky Dice. Your stature is like that of the palm, and your breasts like clusters of fruit. Come I on. I will Look climb great. the palm tree. I will take hold of its fruit. <laughs> I'll take a hold of this fruit. AJ wrote two different things that both have your breasts are like clusters of different things. That's very interesting. AJ, we know where his brain's at, and that is at the tag team titles tomorrow night. Oh my God. He just wants to grab those two luscious, heavy, beautiful championship belts and raise them up high. And that's what he's thinking about right now, ladies and gentlemen. AJ, so Google that. You're damn right. All right. Well, All right. Uh, Thanks, everybody, for being here. EWATix.com, Salwin, 1028. Matt Cardona's there now. Matt going to be there. What will, there. what will the de Deathmatch King be doing? Yeah, I don't know. 11-4, uh, that's November 4th. We're going to be in Nashville, Tennessee. Power tapings. Be a part of the next season of Power live and in person. Find out everything as it happens. Be a part of a one-of-a-kind, unique studio audience. We're hoping to see you right there again. That's NWATIX.com, Skyway Studios, Nashville, Tennessee. Hey, if you're not in Nashville, if you're not in Nashville, then if you're not in Cleveland, maybe you will be in Florida. That's right, baby, because coming up, return to Robars. First time in over 30 years that the National Wrestling Alliance has been in Sarasota, Florida. You got to get your tickets at NWA Ticks. That's NWA TIX.com. And if you're like me, you go Ringling Boulevard. Wait a minute. What's that? Sarasota is hey. known for Ringling Brothers of Barton Mayo Circus. What is going on? The fixers trying to fix that graphic. Look at those two gentlemen right there. Big, beefy men. And you know what? As of late, kind of a serious edge to them. Fixers LLC, when they created the business, they got serious.
like that. So lots of places to catch up with the National Wrestling Alliance. And of course, as always, on NWA Power on Tuesday nights. And here, right here, 7 p.m.-ish Eastern uh, on Monday nights, you can catch the live stream. And we thank all of you for being a part of that. Don't forget that Danny Deals has a deal for you. All hey, tomorrow. You the live stream. All the way through tomorrow, Power Deals gets you 20% off. Mm-hmm. NationalWrestlingAlliance.com slash shop. Go over there, check it out, get some stuff while you can. This is for you guys. You guys that tuned in so right here, street. right now, you can do that. Uh, I, I, there's plenty of cool stuff in the shop, so you don't want to miss out. But until then, till next week, watch NWA Power at 6.05 tomorrow, and enjoy your gravy, kids.